Welcome, Porter uh, Drill Bulldog fans uh, here tonight. Porter Drill Bulldogs will be taking on the New Madrid County Central Eagles. Uh, it's senior night here, and right now we're uh, having the seniors uh, out with their parents here on the field in recognition. And we'll see who we got here right now is uh, Logan Chambliss. He's an 18-year-old son of Jody Chambliss and Missy Chambliss. He is the grandson of Nancy and Carl Pardon, the late Kathy Chambliss and Jay Chambliss. He has one brother, Warren. Logan is a member of the Livingstone Baptist Church. He has also participated in football, basketball, and baseball. After graduation, Logan plans to attend college and get a degree in agriculture. Uh, the next one is uh, Miss Mary Catherine Dars, 17-year-old daughter of Bob and Denise Dars. Her grandparents are Bill and Mary Dar and Wilma F. Tank and the late Peck F. Tank. She has two brothers, Jansen and Luke. Mary Catherine has been a member of the FBLA, Foreign Language Club, National Honor Society, Beta, Art Club, and Stuco. She attends the St. Eustatius Catholic Church. She has a participation in volleyball, softball, and is a member of the cheerleading squad. In the future, Mary Catherine plans to go to college and someday get married and raise a family and be happy. Now we have Raymond Harold Davis, Jr. is 18-year-old son of Margie and Raymond Davis. His grandparents are Belinda and Irv Swim and Ada Davis and the late Edgar Davis. His siblings are Justin Davis and Morgan Rossi. Raymond has participated in FCCLA, FFA, and FCA. He attends the Bush of Stoffstick Church. Raymond's future plans to go to college. Next one is Dion Lewis Foster, 17-year-old son of Darren and Teresa Foster. His grandparents are Mary Foster and Lewis Foster, Robert Johnson and Mary Walker. He has five siblings, Brittany Walker, Tevin Walker, Nakia Hicks, Deshaun Foster, and Darren Hill. Dion has been a member of the FBLA at the Zion Rock Baptist Church. He has participated in basketball, football, and baseball. After high school, Dion plans to go to college. Garrett Lee Baker Jenkins. He is the 18-year-old son of Misty Laws and Chris Jenkins. He is the grandson of the late Kim Morgan, Johnny Jenkins, Patty Morning, Ronnie Baker, Rodney Norman, and Dixie Watkins. He has three siblings, Paxton Laws, Parker Laws, and Emily Brown. He is a member of the band. Garrett plans after high school to become a ch chef and open a bakery. Next senior night is Kayla Ann Johnson. He is a 17-year-old daughter of Keith and Ann Johnson. Her grandparents are the late Parham and Beatrice Johnson, and Arzine French and the late Jean French. She has three siblings, Amber Ivey, Kristen Stover, and Derek Johnson. Kayla has been a member of FFL, FBLA, FCCLA, and Quiz Bowl. She attends the First Church of God, where she is a member of the Faith Youth Ministries. Kayla's future plans are to graduate high school and attend college as soon as possible and live life day by day. Our next senior is Miss Lauren Kristen Jones, is a 17 year old daughter of Debbie Cook and Jamie Scott. Her grandparents are Brenda and Claudie Cook and Teresa and the late Russell Jones. She has one brother, Tyler. Lauren has been a member of the FBLA Foreign Language Club, Stuco, FTA, SCLA, Art Club, Beta, and National Honor Society. She has participated in softball, volleyball, and is a member of the cheerleading squad. After graduation, Lauren plans to attend college, get a degree in physical therapy, get married, and start a family. Our next senior is Miss Valerie Michelle Kellums. She's a 17-year-old daughter of Lynn and Steve Kellum. Her grandparents are Loretta and Kelly Kellums, and Ginger DeLille and the late Buddy DeLille. Valerie has one sister, Katie, and one brother, Johnny. She is a member of the St. Eustatius Catholic Church. She has been involved in the 
NHS, Duco, Beta, FBLA, Art Club, FFA, and a Foreign Language Club. Valerie has also played softball, volleyball, basketball, and is a member of the cheerleading squad. Her future plans are to attend Mizzou, majoring in something she loves, get married, and have lots of babies and dogs. Our next senior is Casey Lee Moore. She is an 18-year-old daughter of Lisa Swilly and Jeff Swilly. Her grandparents are Liddy Moore and Gary Moore and Judy and Jimmy Swilly. She has one sister, Makina Swilly. She has been a member of FFLA, STUCO, FBLA, National Honor Society, Art Club, Foreign Language Club, and Beta. Case is a member of the cheerleading squad. Her future plans are to go to college to be a surgical technician. Mary Ethan, her high school sweetheart, have a family, enjoy life. Casey also liked to open an animal shelter. Our next senior, Hallie Jordan Ritchie, is a 17-year-old daughter of Kim Ritchie and Tracy Ritchie. She is the granddaughter of Kaki and Troy Long. She has two sisters, Paige and Addison. Hallie has been a member of the Foreign Language Club, Art Club, FBLA, Beta, and the National Honor Society. She is a member of the St. Eustatius Catholic Church. She has participated in volleyball and is a member of the cheerleading squad. Haley's future plan is to go to college to be a nurse, graduate, get married, and have a beautiful family. Our next senior is Denzel Simmons. Denzel Simmons is an 18-year-old son of Deetra Ray and Odell Simmons. His grandparent is Betty Ray. Denzel has five seals. Deshasha Simmons, DeAndre Johnson, Devin Johnson, Deontay Ray, and DeJ Marsh. He is a member of the Livingstone Baptist Church and FCA. Denzel has participated in football, basketball. His future plans is go to college and play sports or get a good job and make a living. Our next senior is Dominique Lamar Walker. He is a 19-year-old son of Annie Gibson and Clarence Hicks. His grandparents are Madeline Treadwell and Clarence Hicks. Dominic has three siblings, A.V., Kivana, and Kevin. He is a member of the Good Hope Church in Marston. Dominic has participated in football, basketball. His future plans is to go to college and play football or basketball on TV. Our next senior is Miss Mary Anna Ward. She is a 17-year-old daughter of Scott and Sharon Ward. She is the granddaughter of Sue and Larry Ward and the late Jack and Mary Estes. She has one sister, Bridget Moore. Anna has been a member of FBLA, Art Club, and the Foreign Language Club. She participated in softball, volleyball, and is a member of the cheerleading squad. Anna's future plans are to attend nursing school and have a family. Now, our next senior is Mr. Lawton Michael Wilson. is a 17-year-old daughter of Tanya and Michael Wilson. He is a grandson of Ronnie and Cindy Akins, Jim and Lavanna Wilson, and Mike Bennett. He has one sister, Coralie. Lawton has been a member of the football team. After graduation, he plans to go to college and possibly play college football. That is our seniors for the uh, 2012 uh, season. And uh, we'd like to give a big thanks to the parents and the uh, athletes out on the field tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to uh, football here tonight between the Portageville Bulldogs and the uh, New Madrid County Central Eagles. Uh, Kevin, it's good to have you here. Uh, getting ready for the coin toss. Captains for each team uh, lining up uh, as they get ready to come out on the 50-yard line and uh, get the activities going tonight. Everybody's all fired up for this game. Been a long time. Kevin, uh, since we've had a game between the uh, Portageville Bulldogs and New Magic County. 
You know, Floyd, it's been 12 years. Uh, I was thinking about that this morning. It's, you know, these kids were four, five, and six years old when this, uh, when the New Madrid County Central Eagles came to Portageville, Missouri. And it's going to be quite a matchup. Uh, you're looking at a spread team. Uh, New Madrid's going to come in with a spread team. They're going to they're going to try to go up with a with a lot quicker offense versus the Portageville offense, looking at uh, letting the bone roll. And um, so, really, it's going to be a, a matchup of speed versus talent um, as we get together tonight on a beautiful night, Thursday night football. It's going to be an awesome matchup. I like to say, Kevin, uh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, everybody's anticipated this game all week. Uh, plenty of activities before the game, as uh, you uh, may not have seen, but we had the uh, helicopter bring in the game football. Landed here on the 50-yard uh, line. They uh, come out, presented the ball to Mr. Don Hawkins, uh, which uh, I think they uh, retired his jersey tonight number 45 which he uh, wore when he played and uh, a well-deserved uh, recognition for Mr. Hoffman. Very well-deserved. Uh, only All-American that I know of come out of Portageville. Uh, you know, he was on an undefeated team and the Portageville Bulldogs tonight had a chance to go undefeated regular season, which, uh, which, which has only happened four or five times in the history. So uh, it's, it's, it's good to see him all right, Kevin, let's see who, uh, I believe, New, Mo New Madrid had uh, won the coin toss. Uh, we'll see uh, what they choose to do. Porterville Porter will receive and defend the uh, East Goal. Looks like New Madrid won the coin toss, deferred to the second half. So uh, we're going to see uh, the Portageville offense come out first and uh we're going to see what kind of game plan they had like i said we're going to see a lot of wishbone uh we're going to see a lot of tight double tight stack uh on defense for new madrid you're going to probably see uh, a lot of uh four four uh mainly five three for the main part uh, but they've also uh, showed a little bit of three four defenses as well uh, going to go man to man uh, on the uh, secondary of the defense, and so uh, we're going to see a lot of head-to-head -head matchup today. Like I say, uh, Kevin, uh, getting ready for a kickoff. Uh, New Madrid, uh, number three, get this program all lined. Or number seven, getting ready to kick off. Uh, that's going to be Adam Cooksey for the New Madrid County Central Eagles. Back there receiving is uh, Daniel Allen and Dominique, Dominique Walker. So um, going to be a great night. It's a beautiful, clear, crisp night in Portageville, Missouri at Vic Reeves Field, and we're going to be uh, underway. All right, Kevin, kick uh, goes down to Dominique Walker. And he's going to take it. Well, he goes back in the end zone, so uh, they'll bring it out to the 20. And the Bulldogs will take over first and 10 on the 20. You know, Floyd, uh, tonight's going to be an interesting matchup. You've got a team that haven't faced each other in over 12 years, so they really don't know. They don't know the talent and where they're going to match up. they basically going off of film, game film, and watching it all week. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Looks like they're going to start out in a 5-3 defense against us. As uh, Porter Drill comes to the line, Wallace uh, under center, he gets ready, takes first snap. First snap, handoff, Daniel Allen up the right side. He's going to get across and pick up a round three. Looks like on the uh, tackle was uh, Mr. McDaniel for the uh, Central Eagles uh, defensive end. Daniel Allen picks up, what, about three there, right, Floyd? Uh, pick up a three, uh, bring up of a second and seven as the dogs come to the line. Wallace comes under center, gets ready, takes snap, first man through, Dominic Walker left side, and he's going to be brought down about the 30, about the 27-yard line, so he's going to pick up a couple. 
Mikel Walker for the Central Eagles on the tackle there. What a great tackle, open field uh, with a speedster, Dominique. Looks like to me he picks up around three, though, Floyd. So yeah, we got uh, a third and three. Uh, what for the New Madrid County Central, he's the only one between Dominique and the end zone. First man through is going to be uh, look like it's uh, Daniel Allen. Allen gets across the 30-yard line. Going to be a first and ten for the Bulldogs. You know, that was a key uh, three plays there, Floyd, for the Portersville Bulldogs. You know, they come out here and they try to run it between the tackles and uh, get a first down in uh, three plays. That's a pretty impressive start for the, for the Bulldogs. Yes, it is. Like I say, uh, they want the momentum early and keep it going. Pass going out to number one. He dies for it and just out of the reach of Ben, ben Story. You know, uh, Portageville doesn't show pass very often, uh, but when they do, they, they, they have seen uh, some pretty good success, Floyd, on the, uh, on the, on the pass this year. And as you saw there, you know, you, uh, you had Ben Story wide open there, and uh, we just couldn't deliver the pass to him. All right, Wallace back under center. He takes a snap, pitch back to Dominique. He's uh, caught back Got in the backfield and Got a fumble Looked like a fumble uh, on the play. Like New Madrid County has recovered. Recovered by the Eagles. Looked like a high uh, pitch back to Dominique, and he just couldn't uh, get a hold on it. Uh, Eagles going to take over first and 10 on the uh, 25. Well, it's good to see this uh, this New Madrid County Central Eagles came to play. They're going to pitch you hard, and they're going to hit you low, and um, we're going to see what uh, the Portageville offense is all about, it looks like, tonight, Floyd. Defense uh, gets ready to go against this New Madrid County uh, offensive team. Uh, let's see if we can get a good stop. Uh, here, Mike. Well, they got a they Kevin. got a trips left here with a uh, single backfield, and here they come with a uh, with a quarterback sneak going off to the left side. Plenty Number of 20, room. Deshaun Plenty McDaniel. of running room. Plenty of running room. Plenty of running room. You know, that's a little bit different look there that uh, that the Central Eagles are, are running tonight. That was a, a tight trips left. They usually tend to try to spread that out a little bit, Floyd. Yeah, they do, uh, Kevin, and uh, like I say, they got good uh, momentum and a uh, good block. New Madrid comes to the line. We'll Looks like a them. double tight. Here he comes in uh, motion there, and uh, first man through. Um, first man through gets him, and that would be. Um, Robert, look like Robert Anderson and number 18, Denzel Simmons. Brings up second and go here for the Central Eagles. We're going to spread it out a little bit. New Madrid gets ready, takes a snap. First man through. Uh, fumble. Let's see what There's a fumble on the play. Ball is still on the ground. New Madrid Looks like jumps the Central on Eagles. To Central Eagles get a break there. Um, you know, we had a had a ball on the ground for a few seconds there, and uh, Portageville couldn't capitalize on it. Look, uh, two two or three different players right there. Kevin uh, had a chance for it. And, uh, New Madrid comes back on uh, top and uh, recovers the ball. You know, Robert Anderson makes a good play there. He uh, goes for his legs and um, had the ball in the air and um, just couldn't capitalize on a heck of a good play there. Third and 13 for the Central Eagles. Looks first like man through. Have a pass right there, and uh, he's wide open, and it, it's trapped. Is that an incomplete? Should be. We'll see what they. They call, call it a complete it, pass. Call, com complete pass. Complete pass. So we got a fourth and one. Fourth and. Uh, a short one. Fourth and goal for the Eagles. So uh, got one yard to get in the end zone here. Let's see what we're going to see. Uh, Coach Pixley's going to – looks like he's going to go for it here. 8.30 left here in the first quarter. New Madrid's knocking on the door. 
Central comes to the line. They go change of play. Now they're going to call a timeout. Timeout called by the Eagles. With the timeout, we like to uh, come to you with the Crop Production Services, one of the largest distributions of networks of agricultural products and services in southeast Missouri. is are proud to support high school athletics. CPS provides services including various soil sampling and mapping, fall fertilizer and lime, custom application services, wheat seed, chemicals, and Dyna Grow Seed, and LP1 nutritional products. Crop Production Service has a knowledgeable staff providing agronomic solutions for all your fall needs or to the plan for your spring 2013 needs. Contact CPS and Portadrill, Hewlett, Sykeston, Bernie, and other locations throughout southeast Missouri and northeast Arkansas. If you take a nice look at the field tonight you should be impressed as it looks in great condition thanks to turf renovation turf renovation is responsible for outstanding field services on not only the field but numerous ones in the area back, back on the play he looks like it looks like he gets uh, looks like he gets in right there up the gut touchdown new madrid new madrid uh, scores early six nothing I couldn't tell who ran the ball there. I couldn't tell if that was um, if that was their quarterback, um, Mr. Uh, McDaniel, or not. But I think it might have been a quarterback sneak, wasn't it, Floyd? I believe it was, uh, Kevin. They caught us off guard. All right, extra point tried for the Central Eagles. Kicks up. Adam Cooksey, man, has a good and leg. Cooksey it looks like he's up. puts it through the uprights. New Madrid County Central 7, Porter Drill 0 here with 8-13 left in the first quarter. You know, uh, Floyd, a little bit about this last uh, this last drive. You know, Portageville had several times there where they could capitalize, especially when the ball is on the ground. Um, but also at the same time, New Madrid County Central comes in, capitalizes on, uh, on a Portageville fumble and uh, makes it for a 7-0 uh, ball game early in the first. Turnovers, uh, like I say, Kevin, will uh, hurt you. And Portage have been doing a good job all season uh, controlling the ball. But uh, like I say, this one cost them seven points. Tell you what, I was impressed with Cooksey's leg there, huh? Cooksey's well, got what. a good leg on him. Uh, clears upright by plenty as he gets ready to uh, kick off uh, to the Porter Drill Bulldogs. Last kick was in the end zone, and um, you know that eliminates a lot of issues in this quick backfield with uh, Dominique and Denzel being back there. You know, as you take it uh, back, Dominic Walker with the ball. He takes it about the 10-yard line. He gets out to the right side, gets across the 30, down to the 32. About a 22-yard return, Kevin. Looks like they're going to set house up right there around the 22-yard line in uh, Portageville ball, first and 10, with uh, about 8.06 left in the first quarter. You know, this th their first offensive drive, you know, they had really good three, three plays and got a first down right inside the tackles. And, um, you know, we had the man open there, Portageville did, and uh, we just couldn't capitalize on the pass. No, we couldn't. Uh, Wallace to the line. He hands off first man through, Daniel Allen. Look, look, uh, I mean, Dominic Walker. He gets across the 35. Pick up of three. We'll call it second and seven. They're still going to be in that 5 3 defense. Uh, they're going to play man to man on the secondary. Wallace uh, hands off Daniel Allen the right side. He gets across to the 30. One of the things uh, looks like that we can early in the game that we can tell is uh, 
Deshaun McDaniel is all over the place on the defensive side of the ball, and he's also their quarterback on the yeah. offensive side of the ball. So uh, what an athlete. A real aggressive athlete, and I like to say, you play them both sides uh, very well. Wallace back under center. He takes snap, first man through Daniel Allen. He gets across to about the 34. It's going to be probably enough for the first down as they move the uh, chains. Be a first and ten for the Bulldogs. Just uh, hard running by Daniel. He's done it the last seven games, and I don't see why we would see anything different this eighth game, right? That's right, uh, Kevin. Like I say, uh, just hard nose running straight up the middle. Wallace back under center. He gets ready to take snap. First man through, Daniel Allen. He gets across, uh, we'll say, uh, the 40-yard line. Pick up a five. Bring up a s second and five. He had good blocking that time, Kevin. I tell you what, that was heck of a play by Timothy Rice for the Central Eagles. He uh, had a good swim job and caught him from behind there. Eagles drop back a little bit on their defense uh, as Wallace comes up to the line. Pitch back to Dominic Walker. He has a lot of running room on the left side. He's going across the 45 up to about the 48. Another first down, Kev. Another first down on the ground. And um, right there, you know, you see uh, what kind of speed Portageville has in the backfield. You really don't know which one of those guys are going to hit you. You know, they got uh, – they got three or four of the best backs in the in the in the Boot Hill area, and um, this just goes to show you, you know, you just never really know which one's going to hurt you. All right, Hunter Cooks uh, comes wide right as Wallace brings the dogs to the line. He takes a snap, pitch back. Uh, Dominic Walk or uh, Daniel Allen, he gets across to about the 46-yard line. You know, that's some hard running right there for Daniel Allen, but, but but what was even more is how how McDaniel from Central came and contained from the defensive side of the ball and contained and contained and actually made that a loss of about a yard there on the play to where he if, if he would have broke it back inside, uh, it would even have been more of a loss. So uh, it's a good play on both sides of the ball. Yeah, Daniel made a second effort to uh, – Wallace understands, he gives off to Daniel Allen, and uh, he's going to be met by a host of uh, Eagles. Again, you know, McDaniel's the heart of this defense. It looks like playing a defensive end, and um, he stops at the hole right there up on the front. And really that play right there, uh, Floyd, didn't really have much going. No, uh, the Eagles was uh, in the backfield before Daniel even had a chance to get his momentum going, and uh, – it's going to bring up a third and 12 for the Bulldogs. Well, you look like you got a slide right, single back eye formation, uh, which is a different look here. Uh, looks like we're going to have a reverse here. Um, There's a flag on the left side of the field. Daniel Allen, he has one man to beat, and he gets across to about the 40. We'll call it the 38, but we'll see what the flag is. I don't know if it's going to be a hold, Kevin. I tell you, that might be a block in the back um, right there coming in the backside there. Uh, looked like to me that that very well could be a block in the back or a holding. They're talking to the central captain. It's an eagle, eagle use of a block against the Bulldog. That's going to nullify the uh, run. So we're looking at um, going to be around a third and what about 18? Third and uh, 22, I believe. Is that, what, is that a, was it a five yard or a 10? I think it's going to be a 10 yarder. So it's going to be around third and 22. Third and 22 for the Bulldogs. I knew Portageville had two uh, Lyman pull and go to the left side, and uh, they had that one guy tied up over there for Dominique. But, uh, like I say, uh, I thought it was going to be a hold all the way. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's hard not to block in the back when you have somebody like that. You know, you're coming around and you're just trying to get to put a hat on somebody. 
Wallace back. He fakes pass. Hand off nice Daniel tackle. Allen. And he's tripped up uh, right off the line. Tell you what, 51, Timothy Rice makes an excellent play there. He comes back on the side there. Uh, that's his second nice defensive side of the ball right there. And uh, looks like looks like Timothy Rice for Central came to play today on the defensive side. Fourth and 25. Porter Drill had to drop back and punt. You know, one of the things we've not done a lot of, but we've been really successful doing is punt. Uh, Portageville has really had some good punts this year, uh, driven mainly by Bryce Wallace there. Punt comes down uh, around the 30-yard line, rolls across to the 29. Fine kick by uh, Bryce. So the Eagles will take over, Kevin, on the uh, about the 29-yard line. You know, that was an excellent punt by Bryce Wallace there. He uh, got us out of a bit of a bind there, got some, uh, got us a little bit of playing, playing room on the defensive side of the game and gives us some room to sit here and walk and uh, try to play a little defense. Bulldogs need uh, defense, needs to come alive. I'd like to say, uh, put a stop here on the Eagles and uh, get back uh, and see what we make a drive. You know, here we go, double slot. Looks like an A-set formation, typical, uh, typical. Uh, Good. New Madrid County Central gets across to about the 40. Looked like a Bulldog was trying to do a bunch of arm tackling that time. You know, that's a, that's a typical spread play, right? You know, it's just an ace formation set with the uh, the H or the Y back coming in motion. And, uh, uh Similar to what we see a lot against Haytai. Here we go again. You know, we got a tight ace formation with a single back. Quarterback likes to read a lot out of this. He's going to read a. He's going to read the uh, read the defense. It's either going to be a, a handoff or he's going to take it off to the right side and try to get some yardage that way. Looks well, like it's going to be a false start against the uh, Eagles. Against the Eagles. Had to push them back five yards, be making a first and 15. Here in the first quarter, 332 left, New Madrid County, seven, Porter Drill, zero. Post the ball back five yards, it's first and 15 for New Madrid. New Madrid comes to the line. They spread it uh, two wide right. They go back in the uh, shotgun formation. Man in motion. Wide right, number 10. He gets out across about the 43. Looks like a really good tackle there by number one, Ben Story. Bring up a second, and, uh, we'll call it eight. After the pickup, brings up second down and seven for the Eagles. Eagles come to the line. Man in motion, first man through, quarterback keeper. He gets across the right side, plenty of room. Gets up to about the 50-yard uh, line. You know, Floyd, after the first six games, uh, Portageville only allowing 91 yards of rushing defensively. Um, and um, what we've seen the last two or three plays here, um, you know, that's not a sign tell of Portageville uh, being able to stop the run here. Well, like I say, that I had the off week last week, uh, Kevin, and uh, like I say, most time they said I hurt you, but I believe the dogs will come back and uh, get momentum going. First, First man, man through, he's going to be mad at the uh, line of scrimmage. Be no gain. We'll see who comes up off the pile. Uh, looks like number 54. That should be uh, Michael Hopkins. Michael met him uh, right at the line of scrimmage and uh, no gain for the Eagles. Bring up fourth and one for New Madrid. Just shy of the 50-yard line. 
What do you think, Kevin, quarterback keeper? Yeah, they got that quarterback keeper. He's just, He's been there all night, right? Yeah, he gets across the 50, about the 49. Uh, look like it'll be an Eagles first down. Go on a quick count and uh, bring up a first down for the New Madrid County Central Eagles. New Madrid comes back to the line. 107 left here in the first quarter. 7 nothing New Madrid. Man in motion, number 10. He takes the ball to the right side. He has running room. Uh, he gets across about the 35. He's down to the 20. Out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Big pick. That's something we hadn't seen all year, Kevin, is this uh, poor tackling by the uh, Bulldogs. You know, once again, you know, one of the things that's kind of surprising tonight to see the Bulldogs, um, not only their poor tackling, but, you know, um, the defensive line play usually stops that, uh, that penetration and allows our linebackers to come on in there and finish it up. You know, you got that tight – that tight double set there with a single back coming in motion and um, quarterback keeper. He gets across midfield. He gets in the end zone. Touchdown, New Madrid. 13-0, New Madrid. 25 seconds left here in the first quarter. Once again, you know, you, you have a you have a somewhat of a breakdown, you know, there on, in the middle of the football field and a um, little misdirection play, quarterback, keeper. Um, you know, New Madrid, County Central, they'll they'll run the spread, but every now and then they'll bring it up tight and um, and try to break it inside. Cooks he up to kick. Looked like it goes wide left. No good. So 13 nothing with 25 seconds left here in the uh, first quarter. We like uh, if you need auto parts, you need to go stop by Delta Auto Parts and salvage on Highway 61 North Portage Road. They specialize in domestic car and light truck parts. Go to DeltaAutoParts.com for parts information. Dr. James Deere at 205 East 4th Street, Portageville. Dr. Deere has been serving Portageville and the surrounding area since 1983. And is a newly remodeled facility. Dr. Deere provides metal-free restorative treatment, including crowns, bridges, veneers, and fillings. Cosmetic dentistry is also available. Dr. Deere's office hours offers payments, options, through care credit for patients to finance treatment. To schedule an appointment, call 573-379-5407. All right, Kevin, New Madrid back to kick off again. They kick it over to uh, Denzel Simmons. He'll take it on about the 15. Denzel has running room. He gets across to about the 35. Good return for Denzel. Gave it, gave Portageville some pretty good, uh, pretty good room here. Um, you know, with uh, late in the first quarter to uh, develop some kind of, uh, some kind of uh, offensive plays to have, in my opinion, maybe to uh, widen things out a little bit and see if we can't run a little bit more on the inside of it. Well, New Madrid has been good at uh, about stopping the run play. You'd think uh, they would try to uh, get a, a little screen pass over the top. You know, you saw that set right there, Floyd. That's an ace set. That's an ace formation set. No spread formation type spread uh, set. And uh, looks like, you know, they're trying to kind of widen the field up just a little bit so uh, to uh, help soften the middle up a little bit. They uh, spread the Eagles out. Uh, Eagles uh, try to draw the Bulldogs offside, and they jump offside themselves, so it'll bring up a first and five for the Bulldogs. Here we well, got another single back set, ace formation, tight right. Oh, look like uh, number 60 for the Bulldogs. Uh, is that Trevor? 
That's Trevor, yes, sir. Look like Trevor had jumped. We'll see what they call. False start against the uh, Bulldogs. As uh, Trevor just got a little anxious and uh, was ready to uh, take off. So we'll bring us back five, bring it uh, back to uh, first and ten. Wallace comes up under center. One man back. Gets set. Hand off. Dom Daniel Allen. Allen gets across to about the 37. New Madrid's doing a good job, Kevin, uh, plugging that middle. You know, they have. I mean, you know, this is going to be, um, you know, man on man, you know, just hit somebody with a different colored helmet and may the best and strongest man win tonight. Uh, got a lot of game left. It's just the end of the first quarter here. Um, got a lot of football left, and um, it's going to be interesting to see how the next three uh, play out. We'll be right back after this message. At Glenn St. and Kennett, we have a lot full of inventory and the best rebates of the year. I'm Danny Ford, owner of Glenn St. We just want the opportunity to talk to you about your next car or truck. Our rebates are the best of the year and interest rates the lowest to work with. It's a great time to buy and our people are excited to help you make the right choice. We realize you have a lot of dealers to choose from, but I can assure you, no one appreciates your business like we do. Glenn St. and Kennett, and God bless our troops. First Midwest Bank Gold Club offers special privileges for our friends who are age 50 or better and have combined deposits of $5,000. Members enjoy trips, cruises, seminars, and picnics along with free personalized bank services. Upcoming trips include Journey Through the Holy Land, Yellowstone in Winter, Classic Ireland, and Hawaiian Paradise Cruise. Stop by any First Midwest Bank location to sign up for the Gold Club. It's absolutely free. First Midwest Bank, providing common sense financial solutions every day. If you take a nice look at the field tonight, you should be impressed as it's in great condition thanks to Turf Renovation. Turf Renovation is responsible for outstanding field surfaces on not only this field, but numerous ones in this area, such as Dexter, Sykeston, Piggott, and area baseball fields as well. Turf Renovation provide, prides themselves on providing the best playing surface possible for the area's athletes. Special thanks to Turf Renovation. And to check out their projects, go to turfrenovations.com. Ag Distributors in Portageville, located south of Portageville, on South 61, Porter Drill uh, on Highway T, the, se the 780 uh, ground meat location over seed, fertilizer, crop protection, product, and custom application services. And stop by the Porter Drill Farm and Home Store for a large selection of home, lawn, and garden supplies, hardware, and clothing. Go to Adagrammy, call dot com Porter. You know, Floyd, this is going to be an interesting play call. We've had third and five now, I think, on the last three series. Um, looks like we're going to split it out a little bit and go uh, uh, double right, single back. Wallace with a snap. He looks to pass. He's been pressured. He gets rid of the ball. Man open. Oh, through the hands of number one, Ben Story. Good pressure on Wallace as uh, he's hit hard by number 20. Brings up another fourth down. Fourth and six for the Bulldogs on the uh, 41. Wallace will be back to punt for the Bulldogs. Another opportunity uh, dropped there, Kevin. Yes, it was. Uh, Wallace with a kick. Punt up, end over end. Uh, taken by New Madrid. There's a block in the back. Uh, New Madrid goes across. He's about to 20. He turns up field. Uh, 
He's going to be, be met by number 58, uh, Nate Bessinger. Look like we're going to have some uh, yards added on to this, uh, Kevin. You know, it looks to me uh, to be a block in the back right here. And, um, and you know, the interesting thing of it is, again, you know, the, the, the missed tackling just doesn't stop, right? I mean, you, 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 you see what we did there on that punt. And, um, you know, it's good gang tackling there. But I tell you what, we saw a lot of arms, didn't we? That, that's, they've been doing it all night. Like I say, I don't know if it's a break from last week or what, but you can't tackle these uh, eagles just by grabbing at arms. you got to wrap those legs. You know, the old saying says, if you take the wheels away, it can't go. That's right. It's going to back them back inside the 20. After the penalty, he's blocking the back and moves the ball back 10 yards. Eagles take over first and 10 from their own 18 yard line. Doing a lot of fly sweeps and a lot of, uh, a lot of um, you know, quarterback checks. And um, i tell you what, the McDaniel kid's doing a phenomenal job right here at the helm. Quarterback uh, looks to pass, man wide open. Uh, number 88. He gets across to about the uh, 48. Pass completed to number 88, Devin Hill for the Eagles. Tell you what, we also found out not only does he does he have a good leg where he can run it, but I'll tell you what, he's got a scorcher of an arm as well, right? That's right. Reception by Devin Harrell, the senior for the New Madrid. First and 10 Eagles on the uh, 47. Again, they go this double tight, ace formation type look with a single back. Um, here we come, an ace fly sweep right here. First man across, he uh, hands off, has running room. And he's going to be brought down about the, uh, we'll call it the 31. Looks like uh, New Madrid's uh, practice well, Kevin, against this Porterville film. You know, um, you know, one of the interesting things is we got us a timeout here on the field, and I think we'll take one with you. Okay, we'll be back right after these messages. Butler Drug Store on Main Street in Portageville is your local full-service pharmacy, also including gifts and fine jewelry. Dr. Trey Roan has been serving the area for many years and provides your prescription solutions. Butler Drug Store at 222 East Main in Portageville. Call 379-5469. A-Plus Family Clinic in Portageville has been serving the area with medical services with great quality and service. Visit them at 203 East 3rd Street or call 379-2100 for appointment or information. A-Plus Family Clinic in Portageville for local medical solutions. Getting ready. Uh, the Porter Drill calls a timeout, Kevin. Uh, Coach Bullock uh, wants to talk to his dogs as New Madrid's threatening again. You know, it's not surprising that Devin Harrell catches that ball here uh, to get him in uh, the Bulldog territory. He's averaging about 50, 60 yards of receiving yards a game. New Madrid jumps off sides on the left side. So I'd say, uh, oh, Kevin, they was going oh, left. <laughs> You know, I'm sure old Tim Clayton over there, he's uh, he's beating himself up, you know, but I tell you this, uh, right here a quarter and a half of play, uh, that left side of that line on the Central Eagles have done a fine job. Well, they have, like I say, uh, they haven't had the best uh, season of the year, but uh, they play some good talent, and uh, they come in pre prepared tonight for the Bulldogs. Absolutely. I'll tell you what, we'll get into this a little later, but they have one heck of a district they play in. They, uh, San Genevieve, Park Hills. All right. Quarterback keeper, uh, he's caught back in the backfield and uh, lunges forward as uh, Portageville goes to a blitz with uh, Deion Foster. And uh, he's going to pick up, a, we're going to give him three. You know, one of the things you like to always see is uh, – you know, someone like, um, like, you know, the sophomore, Mr. Friggle, out there playing hard. You saw him have a, you know, he could have easily just said, you know, he's going to be down, but he goes ahead and pounds him in there, uh, Floyd. That's what you like to see for a young football player. Yeah, you, you can't give up on the uh, pursuit. 
Handoff, number 10 across the right side, has running room, one man to beat. Uh, he's going to be brought down by Dominic Walker around the 9, or they spark him at the 11. You know, once again, just a, just a you know ace formation spread offense with an ace fly sweep coming from the uh, – from the left side, and um, you know we're really uh, having a hard time trying to read that. That same uh, play that uh, Hayti ran against us with the uh, quick backs, and uh, like I say, once they got outside, they gave us trouble. Mikel Walker, a 5'10 sophomore. New Madrid to the line, quarterback uh, keeper. He rolls out the right side, and he's going to be met in the backfield by uh, Ben Story. Uh, also with the help is uh, number 24. You know, I tell you what, this that that was a that was a great team effort there with Carlos McGee coming in from your uh, from your linebacker position, and then you had um, you know you had uh, was that Dion on the play there? You know, it looks like that was just good good defensive type scheme. Well, like I say, they got to step up and. Uh, uh, cut those corners off, Kevin. Uh, they're running the end uh, out and uh, picking up good yardage. Here we go to ace formation eight. again. Here we go. and um, Number one from the Central Eagles gets down about the uh, five-yard line. As New Madrid County Central's uh, moving the ball well. You know, again, you got T.J. Clark, uh, number one for the Central Eagles, another sophomore. So you can under you can see there that uh, – you know, you got two young, uh, young and uh, wide receivers slash backs there in their offensive scheme that's going to be here for a couple more years. So, it's kind of showing you the age of this central team. You know, like you said earlier, not so much successful this year, but boy, they got a lot of stuff coming back. New Madrid comes to the line, uh, look for a uh, quarterback uh, handoff number 28 right up the middle, and he's going to be touchdown. New Madrid County Central. You know, again, it's a you know a draw play coming in from the uh, from the A gap, and um, you know middle linebacker uh, steps up and tries to make a good play, but uh, he's already got enough momentum to get him into the end zone. There, uh, it's going to bring it up uh, with eight minutes and thirty seconds, uh, a nineteen to nothing ball ball game with uh, the New Madrid County Central Eagles on top. Look like New Madrid's going to go for two. They come to the line. Quarterback keeper uh, flips it back out, and he's going to be brought down in the backfield. Uh, Look like Porter Drill is all over that. Well, it looks like to me it was just a simple reverse, and they couldn't get it the uh, couldn't get the uh, the handoff back on the reverse. Right, we'll be back after these messages. Crop Production Services, one of the largest distribution networks of agricultural products and services in southeast Missouri. It's proud to support high school athletics. CPS provides services including various soil sampling and mapping, fall fertilizer and lime, custom application services, wheat seed, chemicals, and Dynagro seed, and LV1 nutritional products. Crop Production Services is a knowledgeable staff providing the agronomical solutions for all of your fall needs or to plan for your spring 2013 needs. Contact CPS in Portageville, Keelan, Sykeston, Bernie, and other locations throughout southeast Missouri and northeast Arkansas. All right, back live here at Portageville. New Madrid County Central 19, Porter Drill 0 here with 8.30 left in the first half. New Madrid uh, with the kick. Uh, look like a flag against New Madrid. Look like it's going to be offsides. Getting a little pumped up there, and, uh, you know, you, you, you're going to tend to do that. You know, you gotta, you're got you playing up against an undefeated football team here, and you've got them on the ropes. Uh, early in this in this game, and um, you know you're going to have some of those mental breakdowns when you've got some uh, you got some excitement, some motivation going on with you. Well, like I say, Kevin, they got the, all the momentum right now over on their side, but we just need to have a good series of downs and get uh, the ball in the end zone for the bulldog. There's a lot of football left to play. I mean, you know, you figure you still got a, about two and a half quarters left to go, and um, Portageville is going to get this ball. And, um, you know, I'm sure they've tried to make some adjustments on the sideline as we go. 
A high kick from New Madrid. It's going to be a loose ball. Right, we'll see who ends up on it. Look like uh, number Carlos McGee. Twenty-four. Comes up with Carlos it. McGee comes up with a fumble there. Just things you haven't seen the Bulldogs do all year. Kevin. You know, really, you, you haven't. You know, it's um, I don't know, some people would call it sloppy, but you know that this is not the football team, right? That we've seen the last no. seven or eight weeks. But um, I don't know if it's nerves, all the. Uh, Hype about this game. Wallace under center. He gets ready. Pitch back to Daniel Allen. Daniel Allen around the right side. Gets down uh, to about the 44-yard line. Good effort by Daniel that time. Kevin, he kept his uh, legs driving and uh, got him an extra two or three yards. You know, that's the Bulldog football that we've seen. And um, looks like the right side of our offensive line there comes in here and, and they've really tried to work some things out when they were on the sideline. And, and looks like that uh, back early here in this, uh, in, this, uh, in this drive, it's working for them. All right, Wallace back under center. He gets ready. Uh, first man through. Look like a fumble. He gets it back. Landon DeLille. Gets across to about the uh, 47. You know, First. That's, just a, that's just a you know fake fake sweep under the eye formation, going right back into the fullback, and um, you know it's a heck of a hard run by Landon Lille, another sophomore that we have playing for the Portageville Bulldogs. Landon's a good hard runner, and usually you can count on uh, three to four yards from Landon. Portageville trying to mix it up a little bit right now, Kevin. You know, I tell you, this is the things that we've seen Portersville do. You know, you're, they're, they're going to keep you uneasy, and they're going to they're going to throw in a pass when you feel like it's unexpected. Got a timeout for the Portersville, so we're going to take out. one with you. All right, we'll be back right after these messages. Yeah, don't forget the west end of the ball field. We have the concession stand about the junior class. If you take a nice look at the field tonight, you should be impressed as it's in great condition thanks to Turf Renovations. Turf Renovations is responsible for outstanding field services on not only this field, but numerous ones in the area, such as Dexter, Sykeston, Piggott, and area baseball fields as well. Turf Renovation prides themselves on providing the best playing surface possible for the area's athletes. Special thanks to Turf Renovations, and to check out their projects, go to theturfrenovations.com. Need auto parts? Stop by Delta Auto Parts and salvage on Highway 61 North Portageville. They specialize in domestic car and light truck parts. Go to deltaautoparts.com for parts and information. All right, we're back right here at Big Green Stadium in Portageville, Missouri. Bryce Wallace under center with a strong left set. He's going to go in for a pass. Got a man open here. And Bryce Wallace just underthrows him just a little bit. But I tell you what, that was a uh, that was a heck of a good route by Dominique there, uh, uh, Floyd. He, I tell you what, he was uh, definitely past his man there. He uh, ran a good uh, route, but uh, they might have had uh, two uh, – Defenders there right in Bryce's face, and Bryce did a good job get the ball off. Absolutely. Um, you know, this is something else that, uh, you know, Bryce has had some success throwing the ball, but, you know, I tell you, we've had time throwing the ball as well. Yes, we have. You know, we've got the same set look. Strong right. Here we go again with another. Uh, looks like we had a screen pass. Our line needs to step up. They need to get toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe and uh, keep that pressure off of Bryce where he can get time to uh, get that pass off. You know, that was a screen play, which was developing really nicely. You know, the, the, the line breaks them through. They're coming in. And, um, and uh, you know, you would think right there that uh, Daniel Allen, D. Cali, would uh, try to make that catch. That was a tough, tough athletic trick catch. But um, ones that we usually see him catch, right? That's right. Third and ten for the Bulldogs here on the 47-yard uh, line. Going into an I formation, strong left set. 
Wallace pitches back to Daniel Allen. Allen comes to the left side. He has running room across the 50, across the 40, out of bounds around the uh, 40 yard line. Look like enough for a first down. Good run by Daniel. You know, Daniel Allen shows us right there that uh, that he's got that 4 4 4 3 7 5 speed there and uh, runs with a lot of power. Um, tell you what, one young man that's averaging around 150 uh, yards per per game, and uh, I think we just saw why he's, why he's getting that every game. Uh, you could tell Daniel wanted the ball then. Wallace back under center for the Bulldogs. One man back, Daniel Allen. Allen takes the ball left side, drives across about the 35, down to about the 30. Good second effort by the Bulldogs, and a good blocking on that left side. You know, that was great blocking, I'll tell you what. Um, but, you know, the more you watch D. Cali, Daniel Allen run the ball, you just got to be impressed with his efforts. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's stayed in the gym all summer, and it's, and it's showing him. Yeah, it sure is. Like I say, he's muscled up, and uh, he wants the ball. Wallace back under center. He hands off Daniel Allen, and he's going to be met at the line. He's going to get across about the 30. Bring up a second. Official timeout. We're going to have an official timeout. Looks like we're going to come in for a measurement. You know, Floyd, um, one of the things that we've seen uh, is a little bit going uh, to, to Portageville's motor. Uh, looks like to me it's going to Portageville's way. Uh, their offensive line it seems to me as if they, they, they picked up um, what, they were, what they were slipping on the last series, and they're trying to figure out which way that 5-3 uh, defense is coming around and showing a little different set because if you look right, this will be the first game this year that we've, we've actually got to see a five-man uh, front. Yes, that's right, Kevin. A 5-3 uh, set against them, and uh, Bulldogs are uh, b shutting those uh, holes off where they're shooting through there on us. Uh. Now for the first down, Porterville first and 10. Uh, ball on the 29-yard line. Looks like a Wildcat set trip. Wildcat right. set. Got all four of them going. Dominic Walker uh, takes a snap. That's a broken play. He gets around the left side, and uh, he's going to be brought down about the 30-yard line. So That was a neat little uh, offensive set there. You know, we haven't seen that this year with a Wildcat type of situation with Dominique uh, un getting the snap off of the uh, shotgun formation. Um, comes back and breaks it off to the left side. That was a uh, play that we haven't seen this year. Boy. No, that's the first Wildcat that I've seen uh, Porter Drill go with, but uh, I believe they keyed on Dominique uh, setting back there by himself. I think they did, and here we go again. We got us another Wildcat set with the uh, with uh, everybody overload to the right. Looky there, they're gonna throw the ball to him on a uh, pass over to the right side. Uh, Pass to to number, 10, number 10, Hunter Cook. Hunter Cook right. just runs a bubble screen uh, straight inside. And uh, I tell you what, one man to beat there, and it's going to be an interesting uh, interesting uh, run to the end zone. I didn't know, I didn't know uh, Dominique had that strong of an arm. I didn't either. Cordial trying to mix it up, uh, trailing 19 to nothing here late in the second quarter. Wallace Got comes to the line. Under the shotgun. He drops back. Has a man wide open. Time, wide wide open. open. He overthrows him. A uh -oh. flag comes uh -oh. in. Look like it's going to be pass interference. What a great pass by Bryce Wallace there. He saw the man there, and he had some space and got through it to the grass. And uh, looks like that, um, that they were holding Dominique right there. That's going to be a big play uh, against the Eagles if that's pass interference. It is. Pass interference Bring up a first and ten for the Bulldogs. Well, I tell you what, if we were NFL rules, it'd be uh, our ball what, on about the two or three-yard line, right? That's right. 
I couldn't believe we had those men wide open right there, and uh, I thought there's six points, and uh, like I say, the block and the uh, back pass interference. You know, once again, we're seeing this I formation, strong right set. It's a little bit different than um, boy, second what? man through Daniel Allen. He gonna be met. Just nowhere to go. Met by a host of uh, Cent Central Eagles, and I tell you what, um, what an excellent, uh, what an excellent defensive play that their line is doing. They're staying at home. They're making sure the play is not going to come to them because they know that D. Kelly's got speed and can bounce it back outside. And when he did back, bounce it back outside, you know the right side of their defensive, uh, their defensive line just comes to play. Bring up a second 12 for the Bulldogs with a two-yard loss. Wallace under center. He gets ready. Pitch back at Dan Allen right side. He has blocking. He gets around the corner, and he's going to be brought down about the 10-yard uh, line, I believe. That was an excellent sweep. Uh, ran the ball off to the wide side. And uh, he saw a gap, ran for the grass, and um, you know, excellent blocking, you know, by the uh, by the right guard there. He pulled and come around and um, was able to meet a couple of defenders and uh, allowed a good 10-yard run. Well, like I say, uh, he got out there and followed his blockers and uh, picked up the yardage. Third and five for the Bulldogs. Wallace under center. He gets ready. Oh, right guard. Number 58, looked like Nate Bessinger jumps. False start against the Bulldogs, make it a third and ten. A little anxious. You know, once again, we talked about this a lot, Floyd, this evening, but, you know, this is not the dogs that we've seen in the past. You know, we've, uh, we've been a pretty disciplined football team and not get offsides, not fumble. Um, but, you know, tonight, you know, it looks like that um, they got to get back to the basics and just understand that just simple discipline goes a long ways in a football game. That's what will get them back in this game, too, just basic plan like they've done all year. Wallace drops back to pass. Man open. Oh, Ben Story drops it right in his hands. Good pass by Wallace, but hit him right in the numbers, and uh, I guess Ben uh, heard the footsteps and, you know, Ben Story, that's his second drop tonight. And um, I tell you what, uh, maybe he needs to uh, get him a different set of gloves because uh, those have been two really nice passes from Bryce Wallace there. And, um, and you know, the interesting thing is Ben doesn't miss very often. So no, he don't. So it's, it's, it's becoming kind of par for this game, right? There's just been a lot of things that we're not used to seeing this game. Fourth and ten, Bulldogs uh, deep in their own uh, territory. They're going to go for it. Wallace comes to the line. Snap, he looks for the, he launches it over with incomplete. After uh, Portageville turns, turns the ball over on downs, New Madrid will take over on uh, downs and uh, with 2.33 left here in this first half. New Madrid 19, Portageville zero. You know, as, 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 uh, as odd as this game has gone about this first half, you know, it's just 19 to nothing, right? It's still a good football game. It's still a lot of football game left to play. Um, you know, we've got, we've got a halftime to be able to come back and prepare for this second half. And um, good key stop for Portageville here uh, on defense might go a long way. New Madrid to the line, hands off left side, and he's going to be mad uh, about the line of scrimmage. That's a good tackle right there by uh, number 60, Trevor Brands. He goes in from the outside uh, outside uh, linebacker position and makes it a well of a play right there from the uh, DN, what I call DN side. He stepped up and uh, cut off that uh, pocket. You know, once again, you take the wheels away, right? Can't That's go. right. Second and eight for New Madrid. Madrid comes to the line. Look like we have movement on that left side for the Eagles. You know, again, you know, it's just a, a, a double tight uh, ace formation, like I call it. And, um, and you know, it's just, just regular fly sweep coming at you. And it looks like the offensive lineman got in a hurry there and uh, jumped off sides. Second and 13 for the Eagles. Uh, 
What are they on, uh, Kevin, about the uh, 10? I would say they're right there real, right there real close, probably right there on the 15-yard line there. And, um, and you know, this is going to bring up an interesting call for uh, Coach Pixley here. Is he going to keep it on the ground, or is he going to try to score with uh, a minute 30 left to go in the first half? I believe he'll keep it on the ground with a 19-point lead. Quarterback keeper, he rolls out to the right to pass. It's blocked by uh, good coverage by Look like uh, Dominique Walker. Actually, right there was Dion. I think well, it was well, Dion, Dion Foster. Yeah, he. I tell you what, that just goes to show you. Uh, you know, he's had a uh, a high ankle sprain the last three weeks, and um, you know, by far one of the better uh, one of the better cornerbacks in our conference. And he just showed it right there with an excellent defensive set, excellent defensive play right there. All right, bring up third and thirteen for the Eagles. Interesting is, uh, you know, clock stops, right? Here comes that ace formation again. and um, First man through, big hole. He gets across about the uh, 25. All right, back live action. New Madrid took punt, good kick. Goes back to Dominic Walker. He feels it on about the 38, goes the right side, gets across to the 45 where he'll be brought down with 42 seconds left here in the first half. Forty drill takes over. Forty drill uh, takes over on the 45-yard uh, line. We'll see if they can get in the end zone here with 42 seconds left, trailing 19 to nothing. Denzel Simmons comes off the field for the Bulldogs. Also, uh, Daniel Allen. Bryce Wallace brings the dogs to the line, spreads uh, Ben Story out wide left, Deion Foster, and Dominique uh, Walker. Wallace drops back to pass. He looks, he has a man open, and overthrows uh, Dion with the pressure from New Madrid County uh, right there in his face. You know, I'm not, I'm not quite sure right uh, what Dion was or what uh, what Dion was thinking there. You know, I mean, it was uh, look like he stopped. Yeah, he, he just doesn't run his route there, and he stops. And uh, it's hard hard for a uh, for a wide receiver to catch the ball if he doesn't run the route. Well, like I say, it looked like he just gave up on the play before uh, is ever uh, really committed to it. And uh, Porter drill comes to the line. Single Wallace said trips left. Wallace drops back, handoff landed to Leo. Landon gets across the 50 to the 48. Handoff. 31 uh, seconds ticking. Third and 10. See if we can get uh, one more play off. Wallace uh, hurries out to the field, 13 seconds on the clock. I don't think they're going to get it off, Kevin. You know, I think Coach Bullock says, you know what, man, let's just take it into the locker room for this first half and uh, let's regroup and uh, play better football. Wallace gets it off, uh, loose ball. Daniel Allen with the ball, right side. He has running room, and he's going to be brought down about the 50-yard line. So after the first half, 19, New Madrid, quarter drill zero. We'll be back after these messages from our sponsors. Prairie Mutual Insurance is celebrating our 100th year. We started protecting rural farmers way back in 1910, insuring folks no one else would. Southeast Missouri Mutual Insurance has been a family business for four generations, and we continue that tradition today, providing solid home, farm, and commercial insurance at very competitive rates. When the ice storm hit us, we were out there with you. All of our claims were processed within days, and we will continue to provide the best coverage and the best service for the the next hundred years. Southeast Missouri Mutual Insurance, a century of service. NFL Red Zone, the channel that brings you every touchdown from every game on Sunday afternoons. Watch the most exciting moments like never before, live in HD. Every touchdown from every game, live on one channel, NFL Red Zone.
All right, Kevin, back here at uh, halftime, uh, New Madrid uh, 19, Porter Drill 0. Uh, Porter Drill uh, seeing a little something different uh, than they've seen all year from this uh, New Madrid offense. You know, one of the things that we've got to do uh, from a Portageville perspective is just get back to the basics, doing what we do uh, good and what we do, what we know what we do is right, and that's, uh, you know, just blocking and tackling, right, just the simplicity of football and um, need to do uh, a lot better job of uh, getting away from arm tacklings and taking uh, wheels away. And, and then on the offensive side of the ball is uh, we got to protect uh, and, and, and be disciplined on offense and uh, not jump off sides and do the little things that make you win a football game. But uh, the good thing for the Portageville Bulldogs is there's a lot of time left to play on this uh, in this football game. We've only done a half, and it's a 19 to nothing uh, game, and there's a lot of time left for these Bulldogs to pull one out. Well, like I said, Kevin, it's a new second half. Uh, we'll see uh, how the Portageville Bulldogs come out in this second half, uh, trailing 19 points down, but New Madrid will receive the ball this second half, so uh, Portageville needs to uh, have a good uh, defensive stand and uh, take the ball and uh, try to run something a little different. Well, I'll tell you what, they're setting it up here, and uh, looks like we're going to be ready for a second half football right here at Vic Reeves Stadium. Okay. Second half, getting ready to start. Number two, uh, Dominique Walker gets ready to uh, kick off to the Central Eagles. Put a fresh 12 minutes up on the clock. Dominique sets the ball. We're getting ready for a second half of football, Floyd. Kickoff, Dominique Walker back deep, uh, number one. Uh, flag on the play. Offside, Portageville. A little anxious to get the uh, second half started. Uh, Portageville uh, gets an offside on the kickoff. So we'll bring it back. Tee it up. Let Dominique kick it again. Oh, Danzel out there trying to uh, trying to beat the ball there, and um, looks like he just got a little ahead of himself there. He's ready to get down there and put a lick on uh, one of these uh, eagles. You got both T.J. Clark and um, looks like uh, the sophomore uh, Mikel Walker. All Mikhail right, Walker number 10 with the ball. He gets back uh, around to the 30-yard line. Looked like they tried to do a little fake there. They uh, get chest to chest, and uh, Eagles will take over on the 30-yard uh, line. You know, you always like to see, uh, you know, some of the guys that you're going to get to see come back here uh, next year. You know, Devin Cobb did an excellent job of wrapping up and uh, – and uh, getting him a tackle there. All right, New Madrid County Central comes to the line. Looks like he keeps it, keep it tight, Mike. That time right up the middle, uh, good tackle by number, uh, is that 18, Denzel? Denzel Simmons on the stop. Handoff number eight for a gift for the Eagles. Looks like they got around four yards. The Central Eagles got around four yards there. And, um, you know, those are the one of the things that we've got to do is, is Portageville is going to have to go ahead and contain and own that defensive line and scrimmage. Um, and here we go again. We got this, uh, you know, double stack tight. Here we go in a sweep, right? Oh, a, sp a, a blitz by number 60, Trevin Brands. And Trevor gets back and uh, brings down the uh, New Madrid County Central quarterback and a loss of about three yards. You know, owning the line of scrimmage uh, on the defensive side of the ball is utilizing your, uh, your weapons and, and allowing your linebackers to free up a little bit. And that's exactly what we do there is uh, um, able to do a little bit more blitzing and, uh, and once again, they don't pick it up, right? A good call. 
All right, another blitz by the Bulldogs. Uh, right side, New Madrid County Central. Good running room. He gets out across about the 42. You know, uh, Michael Hopkins makes that uh, makes that tackle, and um, he's the defensive uh, line line there playing uh, defensive tackle position, and he uh, makes the tackle about seven yards down the line there. He's the last man there to make the tackle to her. It'd be another six point. You know, but if you notice, they just barely got that play off. So uh, Porterfield's got a little something there for them. Uh, on the defensive side of the ball that uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they uh, react here. Looks like they're running a blitz on them and uh, wide left comes uh, number 28 for New Madrid County Central. That's going to be uh, Stanley Smith. Plenty of room. You know, I tell you what, old Ben Story right there. Uh, ben Story guy woke up a little bit uh, being flat-footed, and, and uh, the old boy said, you know what, if you're going to stand flat-footed, I'll just run on over you and just get us another seven or eight yards. Well, like I say, uh, Smith, a pretty good-sized uh, lad himself, and uh, he just took it right to Ben. First and ten Eagles. On the 40-yard line, pitch out to number eight. He goes the right side, cuts back, has running room, uh, and one man to beat, Dominique Walker. Walker brings him down about the uh, five-yard line. You know, again, that's the that's the same play there. It's just a little sweep right, and a uh, guy sticks his foot ground um, in the ground and just brings it right back inside and uh, got a lot of room to run. All right, New Madrid County Central uh, looking to push it in again. Look for a quarterback keeper, Kevin. I'll tell you what, you got a different side, uh, different set there, and it looks like to me they're going to go uh, right on the uh, outside of uh, the right tackle in for a touchdown. Touchdown, New Madrid. Touchdown, New Madrid. Well, it didn't take him long Mc there, did it, Floyd? No, it didn't. McDaniel goes right across the right side, and uh, uh, nobody there to stop him. 25 uh, nothing. New Madrid County Central opening drive this second half. Look like they're going to go for two. McDaniel uh, gets ready to take the snap. He uh, hands off first man through, number eight. We'll see what they call. Look like they're going to stop him short. Extra point no good as Corey Geese tries to take it in. All right, we'll be back uh, right after these messages. Crop Production Services, one of the uh, largest distribution networks of the agricultural products and services in southeast Missouri, is proud to support the high school athletics. Uh, CPS provides services including various soil sampling and mapping, fall fertilizer and lime, custom application services, wheat seed, chemicals, and Donagrow seed, and LP1 nutritional products. Crop production services is a knowledgeable staff providing agronomic solutions for all your fall needs or the plan for your spring 2010 needs. Contact your CPS in Portageville, Keelan, Sykeston, Bernie, and other locations throughout southeast Missouri or northeast Arkansas. Okay, Kevin, as uh, New Madrid uh, takes the ball on the open drive this second half, puts another six points on the board. 25 nothing, New Madrid on top of the Portageville Bulldogs. Cooks the uh, gets ready kick for the New Madrid County Central. Short kick comes down to look like Denzel Simmons. He gets back across about the 30. You know, Denzel there, that's his second run here on the kickoff return. Looks like to me that he's running the ball extremely hard on the kickoff. You know, that's a... Uh, that's one of those things that you got to either have the heart or you don't. And it uh, looks like to me he's just going to be in there and uh, he's in it for the long haul tonight. Well, Denzel, you know, a couple games ago they uh, gave him the ball more and uh, he did a good job running the ball. So who knows, maybe uh, 
he will see a few more handoffs this second half. Walla back under center. Gets ready, brings the Bulldog. Uh, first man through. Look like Daniel Allen to the right side. And he's going to be across about the 32. Pickup of, uh, we'll call it one. You know, that play right there, we had a slot right, uh, fullback uh, right, and uh, we go right, which means there's, um, you know, you're looking at nine guys going into the same area. And, um we just, uh, seems like to me, we just cannot penetrate that uh, that D line there, Floyd. No, uh, New Madrid's been uh, good about stopping the run. Wallace back under center. He drops back to pass. Uh, he's going to be brought back there for a sack. Uh, down to about the 20. Good blitz there by New Madrid on that right side as uh, they caught the uh, Bulldogs uh, asleep. You know, that's, um, I think that's Bryce, what, sixth pass of the game. And, um, you know, he's had pressure every time. So, um, you know, it, it's got to start up front. Uh, I know they've got a lot of five front. And, um, you know, we got, Portageville's got five. You got to beat five on five, right? So, um, you know, we'll see what happens. Third and 16 for the Bulldogs. Look like we have movement in the backfield for the Bulldogs. False start. Bring up a third and 21. You know, Floyd Portageville is going the wrong way here. Um, we need us a. Uh, we need to see Portageville. Uh, at least be able to get into the to the area to where we know, when they get a good punt we can get into their own uh, central central side right uh, that's right uh, Kevin is like I say uh, we're going the wrong direction right now Wallace drops back pass he has a man open uh, Ben Story and he hangs on to the ball he gets back to uh, close to the original line of scrimmage Tell you what, that right there was a good throw and a darn good catch by Ben Story. I tell you what, you know, you know, um, you're going to get a hit. You're going to get a hit at contact, or as soon as you get the ball. And I tell you what, that's a uh, that's a heck of a good play by Ben Story right there. It was uh, Ben dropped a couple of the first half, but uh, he had two defenders on him right there. As you said, uh, well placed pass from uh, Wallace, and uh, Ben held on to it. And Portageville uh, drops back to punt. Oh, trick play. Uh, Daniel Allen or Denzel Simmons comes around the right side. Fumble. Ball goes out of bounds. We'll see uh, where they mark it. You know, that, uh, that was a in my opinion, a darn good coaching uh, decision there. You know, it caught everybody off guard. The, um, I know it did um, on this side of the ball, but, uh, you know, once again, New Madrid County Central came to play some defense today, and, um, you know, they swarmed the ball as quick as they got it. Uh, New Madrid has been quick off of the uh, snap, and uh, both offense and uh, defense, and it's keeping uh, Portageville on their toes. All right, New Madrid takes over on downs. Uh, 6.42 left here in the third quarter. 25-0, New Madrid. McDaniel comes to the line. Shotgun, hands off. Oh, he's met by number 18. Denzel Simmons puts a hit on him. Kevin, that's got to be one of the hardest hits I've seen all year right there. Yeah, I tell you what, that's just a uh, good, hard heads up. You know, we just talked about him running on the uh, the kickoff return there. And, uh, you know, he's a very physical young man um, and a good kid to boot. But, you know, um, that's the kind of play that we're going to have to have for Portageville to, uh, to sustain uh, this defensive set. They leave the uh, shotgun, go back in the uh... – Fumble! Look like the uh, ball's on the ground. Let's see if Porter Drill gets it. Porter Drill, uh, let's see, they hadn't signaled. Porter, Porter Drill has the ball. Look like number 24. 
Was, was that number 24, Kevin? Yeah, I tell you what, you know, the young man has uh, had him two touchdowns this year. Um, one just being, uh, I think, last week and um, played a heck of a good defensive game all year. And uh, the good thing about this kid is we get to see him one more year, Floyd. Yeah, I'd like to say, he's, uh, he's had some uh, heck of a plays uh, defensively. All right, Wallace back to uh, play. Uh, handoff uh, up the middle. Uh, Looked like Dion took the snap, handed it to uh, Daniel uh, Allen. You know, this is a uh -oh. uh, a different look here. Um, we got uh, a personal foul against uh, Portageville. This is a different look. You know, we haven't seen Dion take a lot of snaps after the Sam Pius game, the very first game of the season. And, um, you know, I guess we're looking at a little bit, little, uh, little bit quicker, a uh, little bit quicker, a little speedier type of uh, quarterback. Well, like I said, uh, the, their quarterback's got the speed like uh, Humes had down at Hayti. And uh, it's got the Bulldogs uh, back on their heels right now. All right, personal foul against Portageville brings up second and 25. Well, I got Deion Foster in there quarterbacking right now. A ball on the ground, picked up by number 40, uh, New Madrid County Central, touchdown. Touchdown, New Madrid, 31 nothing here with 530 left in this third quarter. You know, Floyd. Uh, basically, um, you know, you got a, you got a, looks like a fake sweep coming back to the left side, and uh, just a misdirection type play there that the ball gets loose, and um, you know, fortunate for Central, uh, the Central Eagles, they pick it up and score on a defensive touchdown, well, like making say, it 31 to nothing. All right, Stoke goes back kick. Uh, it's long enough, and it's good. So New Madrid County uh, picks up the uh, fumble, takes it in. Now it's 32 to nothing. You know what a uh, what a great opportunity for Portageville here to come back and uh, try to sustain a little bit of drive here and um, get on the board. All right, uh, need auto parts? Stop by Delta Auto Parts and salvage on Highway 61 North, Portageville. They specialize in domestic car and light truck parts. Go to DeltaAutoParts.com for parts information. Dr. James A. Deer at 205 East 4th Street, Portageville. Uh, Dr. Deer has been serving Portageville and the surrounding areas since 1983. Has a newly remodeled facility. Dr. Deer provides metal-free restore treatment, including crowns, bridges, veneers, and fillings. Cosmetic dentistry is also available. Dr. Deer's office offers payment options through care credit for patients to finance treatment to schedule an appointment call 379-5407. All right, New Madrid kicks it off. Picked up by uh, number two, Dominique Walker. He's going to get it back across about the 27. You know, yeah. one of the positive sides on this uh, this football game is, you know, we haven't been backed up on those kickoffs. You know, we've had some pretty good returns and getting back into the 25-30 uh, yard line. We haven't been backed up. But Portageville has really hurt themselves after the kickoff return. They jumped off sides. They fumbled. Um, we'll see what they're going to do here on, um, on, this, on this drive. Wallace back under center. He looks a little screen pass over to Ben Story. Ben catches it, runs across about the 35, 36-yard line. You know, just a little bubble screen left, right? You go back to that, uh, that spread-like look, and, um, you know, that's two good catches for Ben Story. And he coming back his second half going, you know what, I'm going to catch the football this quarter and this half, and uh, that's exactly what he's decided to do. Well, like I say, they don't want to – be down this much here especially at home but uh like i say they they don't have the quit in them they're gonna keep trying and uh, fighting back 
Wardrobe takes the snap and comes across the center. Look like uh, number Daniel Allen, number 32. Kevin, look like we got Dominic Walker over on the sideline. I don't know if he looked like a leg cramp or what. I hope it uh, nothing serious with it. Third and five for the Bulldogs. Uh, they're spreading Hunter Cook out wide right. Still going to that wishbone set. You got wide right. Second man through, Daniel, uh, Denzel Simmons, and he loses the ball. I believe they're going to call the ball down as uh, the ground calls the uh, fumble there. He gets out to the 40-yard uh, line. Should be a first and 10 for the Bulldogs. It appears, Floyd, that the ground had caused the uh, the fumble. Therefore, they're going to uh, spot foul or spot the ball right there at the uh, forty yard line. First and ten, Portageville. All right, first first down for a while for the dogs. Let's see what we can get going. As Wallace brings them to the line, second man through is Allen, and he's caught back in the backfield. Look like they're keying off of Allen. Uh, like I say, uh, they've come in uh, well prepared for this running game with Portageville. You know, the wishbone is a great offense. It's been around for a long time, you know, and um, and this football team is, uh, is, a, is, is administered it this year, uh, in my opinion, of one of the best football teams that we've had come through in Portageville in a while. Wallace with the ball, he hands off to Denzel Simmons, and uh, he's going to be mad at the line of scrimmage. Pick up about one. Bring up a, uh, what is it, third and 14? Third and 14, and, um, you know, what I was going to tell you earlier about this wishbone offense is that, you know, it's a very powerful offense. We've seen it. You know, we're, you know, 7-0 and this year and, and, and had some success. But, you know, this has nothing to do with the offensive set, defensive set. This has a lot to do with uh, fumbling and just fundamental tackling. Yeah, it's, it's been a poor tackling night so far for Portageville. Wallace back to pass. He has pressure, uh, and he's going to be brought down for a loss about the 30-yard line. But we do have a flag in the backfield. You know, and that – you know, 55 has been back there. It seems like, uh, you know, every time you turn around, you know, Blade Perkins is right in uh, Bryce, Bryce Wallace's face. And uh, you also had, um, you know, uh, Gray's in York. And, um, you know, when you have those two big studs out there for Central coming at you, you know, you're not going to go very far, right? That's right. Look like uh, fouls against, uh, against New Madrid. I didn't uh, get to see the uh, call, Kevin. Was it an illegal block? Illegal block. Le illegal block. So had to replay the uh, play, bring up uh, third and we'll call it 10. Cordial uh, stacks them in tight. Wallace pitches out to Daniel Allen. Daniel sees a hose and he gets around the... Uh, 43-yard line. They'll bring up a fourth and uh, seven. You know, Stanley Smith out here playing this uh, this uh, corner slash strong safety set, set and um, then he moves him into linebacker, a deep linebacker set, and he's played a heck of a ball game. Wallace with a punt. He gets the punt off. It's going towards the sideline. Out of bounds about the 34. So New Madrid to take over on the, uh, they say 36 yard line. So 153 left here in the third quarter, 32. New Madrid, Porter drill zero. The Ag distributors in Porter drill located south of Porter drill on Highway T, the seven. ADI agronomy uh, locations offer seed, fertilizer, and crop production products and custom applications, services, and stop by the Portageville Farm and Home Store for a large selection of the home and lawn garden supplies. 
Go to agrogrimey.com or call 573-379-3816. New Madrid with the ball. They get back across the right side. Running room. Wide open is uh, McDaniel. Gets down and he scores a touchdown. You know, once again, it's just that zone read, right? I mean, you got that um, that fly sweep, and the fly sweep can also become a come a keeper off to the right side, and that's exactly what we just see, right? It's a uh, it's um, you know it's a it's 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 a good play, and it's designed to do exactly that: is to pull your defensive side, and um, and it did just that. We you know Portageville pulls to the uh, to the strong side and goes back to the weak side, and um, and. Um, once again, you know, you have a big play for New Madrid County Central. And um, I'll tell you right now, um, McDaniel is having one well of a game, isn't he, Floyd? Extra, he is uh, extra points up. Good. 39-0. 40 drill trailing New Madrid. And Butler Drugstore on Main Street in Portageville is your local Full service pharmacy, also including gifts and the fine jewelry. Dr. Trey Grohn has been serving the area for many years and provides your prescription solutions. Butler Drugstore at 222 East Main in Portageville. Call 379-5469. A-plus family clinic in Portageville has been serving the area with medical services with great quality and service. Visit them at 203 East 3rd Street or call 379-2100. For appointment or information, A-Plus Clinic in Portageville for local medical solutions. Okay, Kevin, back here uh, as New Madrid uh, adds another seven points on the board. Uh, look like uh, Portageville's got their head down right now. They're not uh, coming out aggressive and fighting like we thought they would. You know, this is a fighting football team, Floyd. You know, you've seen them all year. And, um, and, and you know, one of the things about a uh, – one of the things that you that, – that we've always seen is is that sometimes a loss is a good thing. And um, right now, Portersville is, uh, is going to be number one in their district. And they're going to go in as a number one seed. Uh, looks if it stands today, we're going to play Kabul. And we'll play it at home. And, um, you know, sometimes confidence can be a good thing, but it also can be a bad thing. And um, humility is something that we all have to, uh, have to live through every now and then. And this could be just that game that we needed to have to a little humility to. Well, that's true. And like I say, uh uh, some lessons are hard in life, uh, Kevin, and uh, this is a good one coming right now tonight. All right, Porter drill back to the line with the ball. Wallace uh, hands off left side, Denzel Simmons. He has running room. He gets across to about the uh, 33, 34-yard line. You know, Denzel's ran the ball hard today. You know, he's uh, – He's staying in there. He's staying focused, and, um, you know, he wants to play football. He loves the game, and he's worked hard all summer in the weight room with, uh, with the coaching staff. And, um, you know, I always like to see those kids that work hard like that have a little bit of success like that. Like, yeah, that's a good thing uh, as a hard work, and it pays off. And uh, Daniel Allen's going to be brought back down in the uh, – backfield again Kevin for a loss and uh, that right you know, side uh, just let him bust right through you know Deshaun McDaniel has played one well of a game and uh, they're going to give him a break right here and say you know what kiddo you've played a good game and um, you have absolutely shined on the defense and offensive side of the ball we're going to give you a break well like I say uh, 39 nothing and uh, uh, he needs a break uh, well, they're going to bring in Devon Harrell here playing defensive end, and he's their leading wide receiver, so you know he's a good player as well. Denzel with the ball again. He gets up across. He'll uh, pick up about three. 88, Devon Bryce Wallace going over to Coach Bullock and saying, hey, what are we going to do here? And, um, you know, we've got uh, six seconds left in the quarter, and he says, you know what, let's just play this fourth quarter out. 
As the third quarter comes to an end, uh, 39-0, New Madrid County Central. At Glenn St. and Kennett, we have all the GM lines at one location, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Cadillac. I'm Danny Ford, owner of Glenn St. We are always looking for new customers and friends. Come see us at our beautiful dealership in Kennett. We have a great group of people to work with for your very best deal and to save you money. It does not stop there. We also have great service people that you will enjoy. When you leave, we want you to say, I like Glenn Sane. Glenn Sane, and God bless our troops. NFL Red Zone, the channel that brings you every touchdown from every game on Sunday afternoons. Watch the most exciting moments like never before, live in HD. Every touchdown from every game, live on one channel, NFL Red Zone. Okay, Kevin, back here at Vic Reeves uh, Athletic Field here in Portage Hill. Uh, we come back from timeout, uh, Portage Hill trailing New Magic 39 nothing. As you was talking earlier, Kevin, uh, you know, sometimes uh, a loss like this is a, a, a learning lesson for the uh, team. And uh, like I say, you can just uh, get as much out of it as you uh, take in. Wallace back to pass. Short screen to Dominic Walker. He has running room for good. You know, once again, you just have that old bubble screen there, you know, with the guy set out to the right, to the left side there, and boom, you know, here we go. Well, like number 58. Uh, 58. You know, we've seen a lot of him coming in and out all year, right? Uh, you know, he's uh, one of those kids that uh, that uh, successful to a lot of injuries. You know, he comes out, I guess, every game. As it comes out, uh, Portage will take the ball at the uh, midfield, first and ten. Wallace takes a snap, hands off Denzel Simmons. He gets across the midfield up to 45. What a second effort right there by Denzel to get that extra couple yards. Yeah, you had the short shotgun approach. Uh, giving him a little bit more time uh, to open up the middle, and it's just a, you know, basically a uh, uh, handoff going right up the middle to with the uh, with Denzel and letting him do his thing. I tell you right now, I got to give a little credit to the offensive line there. I tell you, they uh, they had a hole there that a Mack truck could come through there. Good blocking right there for the uh, Bulldog. All right. Wallace back in the uh, shotgun. He drops back to pass. He's getting pressured. Let's see. Fumble. Uh, Wallace comes down on the ball. He's going to lose about eight yards on the play. You know, once again, you know, you look at, uh, you know, Damian Galepsi. He comes in through the through the corner with a corner blitz. And, um, you know, we just don't have a lot of time there to be able to let a wide receiver, you know, run his play out in some kind of uh, route to where it develops. And, you um, it's hard to get one off that quick when you have a when you have a route that's supposed to be a, either a quick you know a quick slant or a uh, or maybe even a square out and go type route. Uh, it's kind of tough to get that ball out when you got somebody like Lepsy on you on your hip that quick. Two men right there in your face. All right, Wallace takes the snap. He drops back for the pass. Uh, pressure again, and he uh, gets dropped about the uh, 42 yard line. Look like that's going to be a quarterback draw. Fourth and 18 for the Bulldogs. Wallace goes back to punt. Wallace with a snap. Here's the kick. Good kick. Comes down uh, to the New Madrid County Central Eagle. Uh, flag on the play. Flag on the play. Central Eagles brings the cross to about the 44. We'll see what the uh, flag on. Uh, probably be a holding. Oop. Illegal. Illegal block by the Eagles. I believe the referee gave the other one a legal block there too, didn't he, Kevin? 
Well, you know, it looked like Ben Story was going to get this tackle here, and he goes in and he gets blocked in the back. And, um, you know, we um, – you know, we've seen that several times by the Central Eagles tonight. You know, you get in a good position and we get a block in the back, and uh, that's just what's going to happen. As they mark it off, uh, look like a 10 yard mark off. Move the ball back 10 yards. So the Eagles. Uh, Take over on the, uh, where we have, uh, Kevin, about the uh, 20? Yeah, they're right there on the 20, Floyd. They uh, take over on downs right here at the 20-yard uh, line. As we see Valley's coaches uh, get ready to leave the game as they hear a scout. Looks like they were here, and um, there's several other coaches here this evening as well. And, um, you know, you... you you kind of like to see them scout a Portersville football team that plays like this, right? Uh, they didn't see the Portersville football team that uh, that we know they are. Uh, no no discredit to the New Madrid County Central Eagles. They played one well of a game tonight. And uh, and uh, looks like they're going to go ahead and bring their second string in with about 7.56 left to go in the game. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, going to be a new quarterback. Uh, you know, we're going to bring Drew Palmer, a 10th grader, in. And um, looks like they're going to get some valuable time playing uh, in a varsity game here. Well, that's that's a good thing for the uh, New Madrid County Central coaches. Like I say, get your uh, JV team in there, uh, up 39 to nothing. Uh, give them some playing time. Uh, all you're doing is building for the future. Uh, give them uh, plenty of playing time. Uh, and, let them uh, handle the ball. Absolutely. You know, you got uh, number nine out there, Drew Pikey, coming in at the wide slot. Uh, young kid, good-looking kid. It's going to be having some successful years for those Central Eagles. Hand off New Madrid County uh, to the right side, number 22. You know, we've seen him. Uh, we've seen him a few times. Uh, you know, tonight. You know, Riley Smith comes in there and and. And uh, again, just sticks his foot in the ground and uh, travels uh, travels to the end zone and gets some good yardage. You know, quick speed. Uh, like I say, it didn't take him long to get up to full full speed and then picks up about uh, ten yards. You know, just so uh, just so you'll know, Floyd, you're looking at um, you know you're looking at you know Drew Pikey being out there and uh, you know he's in the ninth grade, a freshman. You're you know, you're looking at the running back that just ran the ball there. He's a freshman. Uh, they got a heck of a good, talented uh, young program coming up. All right. New Madrid County Center up the left side, and uh, that's number six. Yeah, I mean, you know, Larry McIntosh, he's another freshman that they got coming. And, you know, uh, that's the third freshman here that we see get to touch the football. And, um, you know, once again, they've got a talented football team coming in. Um, you know, New Madrid County Central, even though they've got a hard district they're going to play in, you got Park Hills Central, you got St. Genevieve, um, they're going to be a force in this dis in this district. Not if not this year, uh, very very soon. Like I say, they uh, they're showing good talent tonight uh, from their varsity team and the JV. No give up right there. Uh, the running back, the young freshman, keeps uh, his feet and uh, drives uh, second effort, picks up about five yards. You know, right there, you can just see, you know, you got fresh legs and you got somebody that wants to play the game of football, and, um, and that's what you're going to see, just hard-nosed football. You know, handing the ball off, let's go toe-to-toe, -to -toe and, and um, you know, on Porridgeville's defense, you're looking, at a, you're looking at a defense there that's been playing the whole four quarters and, oh, yeah. and uh, worn out and, now you got all fresh legs, freshman or not, you know. All right, hand back off to Smith uh, in pursuit of number 68 uh, for the Bulldogs. Again, Devin Cobb there, you know, he just comes in and makes a good play there and uh, he shows a little bit of strength, doesn't he? He sure does. He's a pretty good sized young lad. Brings it for. for uh, Third down and around four uh, for the New Madrid County Central Eagles. And, uh, you know, they've pretty much all game, I would say, they've had their way on offense and been able to move the ball. 
Porter Drill has uh, most of their uh, varsity out. Uh, we'll see uh, Daniel Allen, uh, Dominic Walker, Deion Foster. Uh, I guess Coach Bullock's saying, hey, this game's out of hand. No need to get one of our players hurt. Uh, Absolutely. Let's just Look, take, this it, game. take it on the chin, learn from our, uh, our balls here tonight, and get ready uh, for district play. Absolutely. You know, it's a good, smart move. You know, we'll keep our uh, – Keep our talented athletes and our in our uh, and and it also allows our younger athletes that's going to have to step up next year to be able to play in a key football game. That's right. You know, lessons on both sides. A handoff number 22 for the New Madrid County Central Eagles, and he's going to be brought down about the 20-yard uh, line. And once again, Riley Smith, man, runs the ball hard, runs up the runs up the gut, goes uh, goes straight for the touchdown. Right, it's not much juke in there. Hey, just straight up the field football. Like I say, you got to give it to the uh, Central Eagles uh, coaches. As I said earlier, Kevin, they come in well prepared for the Bulldogs. Uh, had their team prepared, uh, ready. And uh, like I say, they caught us back on our heels. And uh, like I say, a learning lesson for the Bulldogs tonight. Absolutely. Eagles uh, quarterback keeper. Right side, he has plenty of running room. Uh, He's going to walk it in, number 16 for the Eagles. Austin Lynn here uh, comes in and uh, runs a little old bootleg off to the right there, you know, a shy bootleg and uh, gets it in. 45 nothing, New Andrew County Central. Who would ever thought you'd have seen a game like this tonight, Kevin? You know, we always knew that New Madrid County Central played a talented uh, schedule. I mean, they got a lot of talent uh, that they're going to face every uh, Friday night. And, um, you know, it's unfortunate that uh, Portageville, um, Portageville wasn't uh, – looks like he made that. Looks good. Like he Extra that. points, good. So it's 46-0. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate that Portageville um, played with a, a little less um, – uh, a little less motivation that we've seen in the past, right, uh, Floyd? You know, he's just, uh, you know, you got to look at that. Crop Production Services, one of the largest distribution networks of agricultural products and services in southeast Missouri, is proud to support high school athletes. CPS provides services including various soil sampling and mapping, fall fertilizer and lime, custom application services, wheat seed, chemicals and Dyna Grow seed and LP1 nutritional products. Crop production service as a knowledgeable staff providing agronomic solutions for all your fall needs or the plan for your spring 2013 needs. Contact CPS in Portageville, Keelan, Sykeston, Bernie or the other locations throughout southeast Missouri and northeast Arkansas. As New Madrid gets ready to uh, kick off once again to uh, Portadrill, they bring Carlos McGee off the field for Portadrill. Kevin, deep kick. Looks like be, Tyler uh, Jones is going to pick it up here and uh, run right up the mutt, right up the gut there, and uh, try to get outside and uh, brings it outside the 20 there. So uh, good run by the uh, young freshman as uh, he gets across to the 20-yard uh, line. Looks like we got John Garrett Kellams coming in at the helm on the offensive side. He's going to be at the quarterback position, and uh, and like you said earlier, we're going to have uh, have some of the young kids be able to have the opportunity to play on a on a on a Friday night or a Thursday night like tonight, and um, you know it just makes them a better a better football player as well, right? That's right, Kevin. Like I say, uh, they need to play in time. Uh, you know, it, you, you hate to see a score so uh, offside like this, 46 nothing, but that gives them opportunity to get in the game and uh, fumble uh, Portageville. New Madrid falls right on it. First handoff by uh, Kellums, and uh, they turn it over. Yeah, you had the cousin connection there, right? You got right. Uh, you got John Gary Kellums, and um, and then you got uh, oh. Uh, Landon to Lille Landon. there, and uh, and uh, just couldn't quite get the handoff there, and uh, 
Looks like the clock uh, is going to continue to run with the Mercy uh, Mercy uh, clock, and uh, got about a minute left to go in this uh, in this fourth quarter, and uh, we get to get away and, and uh, regroup and uh, get ready for district play, Floyd. Well, I'd like to say, uh, Coach Bullock uh, brought his starters off, uh, not trying to get them hurt. Uh, he knew the uh, game's out of hand, and uh, like I say, just go in and uh, get ready tomorrow and prepare for the uh, district play. You know, the one thing that I can say about this football game that I'm so much proud of is, is that, you know, this is an old rivalry that's uh, that's came back to, to to kindle the flame, and you had. You know the makings of uh, of uh, a sportsmanship issue, if you will, and um, I think on both from the from the uh, stands and also from the uh, from the athletes. Man, it was a well well played football game on both sides. Well played game, and as New Madrid takes the uh, knee and uh, the clock runs out, New Madrid will win uh, 46 to nothing, and uh, Porter Drill will go uh, seven and one and uh, get ready for district play, Kevin. You know, that's, uh, that's going to be a unique situation. Looks like that. Um, looks like both teams have a pretty good uh, momentum check going into districts. That's right, Kevin. Uh, we'll be right back after these messages. Southeast Missouri Mutual Insurance is celebrating our 100th year. We started protecting rural farmers way back in 1910, ensuring folks no one else would. Southeast Missouri Mutual Insurance has been a family business for four generations, and we continue that tradition today, providing solid home, farm, and commercial insurance at very competitive rates. When the ice storm hit us, we were out there with you. All of our claims were processed within days, and we will continue to provide the best coverage and the best service for the next hundred years. Southeast Missouri Mutual Insurance, a century of service. With an interactive home security system from New Wave, your family comes home to peace of mind. Now we bring you the future of home security. Arm and disarm your system remotely from your office computer or iPhone. Even look in on family or pets with live video from inside your home. In an emergency, our 24-7 alarm monitoring responds with the help you need. Peace of mind, wherever you are. Now available from New Wave Communications. First Midwest Bank Gold Club offers special privileges for our friends who are aged 50 or better and have combined deposits of $5,000. Members enjoy trips, cruises, seminars, and picnics along with free personalized bank services. Upcoming trips include Journey Through the Holy Land, Yellowstone in Winter, Classic Ireland, and Hawaiian Paradise Cruise. Stop by any First Midwest Bank location to sign up for the Gold Club. It's absolutely free. First Midwest Bank, providing common sense financial solutions every day. At Glenn St. and Kennett, we have a lot full of inventory and the best rebates of the year. I'm Danny Ford, owner of Glenn St. We just want the opportunity to talk to you about your next car truck. For rebates are the best of the year, and interest rates the lowest to work with. It's a great time to buy, and our people are excited to help you make the right choice. We realize you have a lot of dealers to choose from, but I can assure you, no one appreciates your business like we do. Glenn Sane and Kennett, and God bless our troops. Okay, Kevin, back here at uh, Vic Rees Field. Bulldog takes one on the chin tonight from the uh, New Madrid County Central Eagles, uh, 46 to nothing. As we talked about earlier, it's just a, a learning lesson for the dogs. Uh, they hadn't been in this situation all year. So uh, Coach Bullock will take this uh, experience to the locker room uh, tomorrow in practice and uh, say, look, guys, uh, nothing to hold your head down. It's just a learning lesson. Would you get ready for districts? And uh, as I say, uh, not much you can say about tonight. Just uh, Eagles come in uh, prepared, and uh, they brought it to the Bulldogs. You know, a couple things. You know, New Madrid County Central is a 3A football team. You know, we play a 3A football team in a 1A uh, – we're in a 1A division. So, uh, nothing, nothing to hang your heads up against. We got district play coming up next week. Uh, next Friday, looks like that uh, the Central Eagles are probably play Potosi. Uh, at Potosi, uh, we will have Portageville will have Kabul coming into Vic Reeves and 
and um, we'll get to see our first district play uh, of the year starting out Friday. And, uh, you know, it's all new season. You can be 0-9 coming into district play and still win a state championship. So, uh, you know, you take this loss as a learning experience and you move on, right? That's right. Like I say, uh, district starts uh, next week. And uh, as you, uh, you said, you just got to take it uh, one game at a time now. You either win or you go home. Absolutely. You know, um, We've got a lot of work to do for a week, and um, it's time to go back to work and um, see if the Portersville Bulldogs can't pull out a victory come next Friday against Kabul. Okay, uh, Kevin, as we said, uh, here tonight, I appreciate you coming up and helping me out. And uh, thank YHCTV uh, coming over uh, with their equipment and everything, bringing this game and our sponsors. And uh, we'll get ready for district play next week, Kevin. Absolutely.